All right, let's go do a little squirrel hunting. It's a great way to break up the winter. You know, ice fishing's right here. We've been doing that and uh, got a beautiful day. You know, it's nice and warm. Um, so we're gonna hunt this afternoon for some squirrels and then hopefully uh, hunt a little bit in the morning. And then we're gonna actually show you how to clean, the proper way to clean a squirrel and how to cook them. Squirrel is absolutely delicious, believe it or not. So we're at Redneck Squirrel Camp here. We have one of our Gamel Pellet Rifles with our Vortex Diamondback 4 to 12 on it. Normally we would do this where we'd uh, level everything out. We'd have these rings a little bit further forward, but it's what we got today, so we're gonna go ahead and start sighting it in. One of the things when you're shooting a spring piston air rifle, uh, such as this Gamel here, you want to make sure that you're not holding it like you would normally a firearm. Firearm you grip uh, more firmly. So you typically hold it loosely and not firm to your shoulder. The last two shots went a little bit further up, but considering that this is Redneck Squirrel Camp. I'm gonna be okay with it. <laughs> what are you looking for? Looking for squirrels. What the heck do you think I'm looking for? See any squirrels yet? No. Oh, got squirrel tracks. <laughs> we got squirrel tracks, you guys. Oh my gosh. I wanna just charge up there. I don't know if that's the right technique. Let's try it one more time. I hope you're a little faster with the camera. I just saw a gray squirrel. An elusive gray squirrel, right? Hey, I haven't squirrel hunted since I've been knee high to a grasshopper. So let me at least kill one squirrel first, right? squirrel I have killed since I've been probably about 14 years old. I'm telling you, my heart was thumping. I love it. Squirrel, dude, squirrel. Anytime that you guys can come outside and enjoy the things that we have in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Dakota, anywhere in the Midwest, it doesn't even matter where it's at. Get outside, breathe this fresh air, enjoy the beautiful sun. You know what? I've, I'll say it at the end of the show, but I'm going to say it now. It's definitely a great day to be alive. Let's go bag your squirrel. Let's go do it. He's right here. Where? There. There. He's right there. Oh. I wouldn't kill it unless I was going to eat it. And uh, gray squirrels, fox squirrels, they are all, both of them very good eating. Gray squirrels are a little bit better eating than the fox squirrels. I just think the meat, they both taste good, but it seems like the gray squirrels, uh, the meat is a little, not as, as, as tough. Um, they're both, like I said, very good eating, but what an awesome thing. Look you at know? the heart shot you made on it. Yeah. Just, oh. Right just behind the shoulder? Never knew it hit him, you know? He just come pumbling right out of that tree. That is absolutely awesome. All the things the last five years that we have done with the show, a lot of it has got to do with the requests that we get from people wanting to see different things. And I said when we started this show, there wasn't much that we weren't going to do as long as everything's ethical and we get to enjoy it. The only problem with today is that we're going to try to get some guys for tomorrow, um, is that I like to hunt with other people. I really do. Um, today we're just out here, basically Hunter and I filming this. and. Uh, very cool, very cool. Unfortunately, some people have to work during the week and it's hard to get people off. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get another one. Squirrel down. Squirrel down. Squirrel down. I got one over here, I got two right here. And they're all fox squirrels, so I'm gonna drive just real slowly and we'll go make my way over there. And if I spook them, I'm just gonna sit there.
squirrel we were two so far. You know, and that is, look at that's a beautiful squirrel. Man, man. These are old squirrels. Look at these are gray squirrels. Even got a little red on their face like that. Yeah, that's a. I cannot wait to clean these babies up and eat them. That was a two shot or two, you know, first time was a decent shot and then I had to shoot a little more time to finish them off. But again, what a cool way. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, squirrel hunting is a, a, typically a thing when you're starting to hunt, it's one of the first things that you really start hunting um, just because there's lots of them. There's a lot of areas to go and do it. And it's just a great way to, to take up hunting. And so, you know, like here, you can see, look at all the tracks around these trees right here. So there's a lot of squirrels working this area. There's a lot of oaks here, and that's what they're feeding on the acorns. We had a great bumper crop of acorns this year. And the key to it, again, is that, you know what, you become a better woodsman, is that spending more time in the woods and looking at the signs of nature, that's really what it's all about right there. It, it truly is. So, I mean, when you get excited about harvesting something and you're going to utilize it and eat it, you know what, that's what hunting's all about. It's not going out there and just killing something for no reason at all. It's again, it's about the excitement, it's about being able to challenge, it's about, you know, taking it back, learning how to clean it properly, how to cook it properly, you know, that's the cool part about hunting. You know, we only ended up getting a couple of squirrels and we never did hook up with Lance and Mark just because they had so many things going on over in Minnesota. But I'm going to tell you, this is something that you're we're probably going to do again. And really, some of the key things is obviously you got to have a woods that has squirrels in it, no doubt, number one. But a big thing is make sure that you got a good set of binoculars because spotting these squirrels and trying to do a stalk on them is definitely very important. I've got a good pair of Vortex binoculars and the key, the thing I like about the Vortex besides the optics, the clarity is just incredible on these. It's a lifetime warranty on them. You don't have to save the receipt on them. You just, if something goes wrong with them, you send them back in, they'll either fix them or they'll give you a new pair. The Northfin gear, this stuff is, I wore this all deer hunting or last year ice fishing and obviously squirrel hunting too is the, and duck hunting we wore this too it's absolutely awesome gear you know and we put our reputation on everything this is definitely good gear there's a lot of gear out there you definitely want to check out the norfin um having a good i like today um the, the cool part was is we didn't come out here with a shotgun we could have killed probably another five or six squirrels for sure uh, or a 22 we came out here with a pellet gun got a great vortex scope on here the diamond back um it's not a super expensive scope um but and it matches up really really good with this 177 pellet gun um just a great way uh, to come out here and enjoy squirrel hunting